Hi guys, today I took another um, video of my 1937 pattern webbing series and this time uh, we'll be on the 1937 pattern webbing, um, well 1937 pattern canteen um, which is in a 1937 pattern skeleton webbing. Um, so the uh, issue to the British Army in, you know, with every other bit of webbing equipment in 1937 um, to replace the the old 1908 pattern canteen, uh, which was a blue uh, blue enamel one, but then the British Army found out that the blue enamel ones for the regular infantry were you know too kind of as you call shiny you know they kind of stick out like a sore thumb, um, so that's why they went to this green kind of camouflage one. Um, so yeah, it's got its as I say 1937 pattern webbing or skeleton webbing holder for the bottle, it's called that, because it's not all immersed around the bottle, it's, you know, it's got big gaps, so it's like a skeleton, you know, you can see right through them, you can see right through this, so, skeleton webbing, which uh, is, you might not be able to see it, which I know you won't be able to see it, but it is dated, just there, yeah, uh, 1941, but yeah, um, and these were always issued with kind of a, an olive drabby color um, um, canteen cover. This one isn't, but this one is uh, an a Second World War issued one. But the actual, but the, the, the others, the most ones you're more likely to see are olive drab ones. Um, yeah, so 37 pattern canteen, uh, of course, has the correct cork and everything. This is its original cork I did up myself, you know. Uh, and the string I did, the correct string, it's not um, chain, it's not a little kind of watch chain or something like that, which a lot of people think is actual string. Um, yeah, so originally, uh, I'm not going to show you the, the actual the back of it, because I'm, I'll show you in a minute. Um, originally these little straps here would have gone over and, and clipped, which of course, whoops, which of course can't, because... Um, I'll show you now. This, <laughs> this massive great big tear in the centre. Now the reason for that is, over time these canteen covers get so shrunken you can't fit them over the bottle. And so this one I had to, I know it really annoyed me, but I had to cut right down just to get this over. So that means the actual uh, straps can't fit over the bottle which originally they would have had. Um, so yeah, you can sometimes you can sometimes see them with the, the 37 pattern skeleton ribbon, which was a throwback to the old 1908 pattern skeleton ribbon for the 08 pattern First World War canteen. Or you can find them in more of the the kind of issued in that 1940-41 webbing, which was the the literally the bag which kind of covers it and has the two little uh, two little sorry two little hooks, which, well two little connections go with the other webbing connects on the other one there and there. Now. Uh, how this would have been connected if I take it apart. Oops, sorry. Ah. Was. Like that. With those two connections there. Or sometimes you can see them where they've taken off all this and it's just been connected by these two hooks there. You know, you can see, um, you know, differences. But yeah, this is just, you know, your common 1937 pattern British Army water bottle canteen, which you, know, you can see them um, everywhere, basically. Um, yeah. So, of course, 1937, it replaced the, the 1908 pattern, um, First World War canteen, which, of course, was too blue, <laughs> blue enamel, too, sh too attractive to the Germans, you know. So that's why they came up with the, uh, the more, the far better idea of a... Um, you know, grass green um, camouflage, but they still. But I mean, in some services, they did still retain the uh, the um, blue enamel canteen uh, because of the RAF. They needed a blue, um, blue, you know, coloured equipment because that's what they had, blue coloured equipment. Um, yeah. So you do see some of these with, you know, called the 1937 pattern REF canteen or water bottle with a blue um, felt cover. 
Now, originally the covers were invented because because of all the the rattling of the the um, metal on, the, on your webbing and everything used to hit against the bot there bottle originally when it didn't you know back when these type of bottles came out um, in the in the blue enamel um, they didn't have the covers so used to rattle around so that's why they put this cover on to stop the, the actual um, um, webbing from making a clanging noise or anything get well the, the brassy bits for making a clanging noise against the actual bottle so yes why um, so yes really nice piece pity about the the rip in it but yeah um yeah um so that's been a you know a nice little uh, nice review on the quite you know common see them everywhere second world war british army 1937 pattern um canteen in a 1937 pattern skeleton women holder and now actually and originally um just to say that you wouldn't get an infantryman um drinking out their bottles like that it would have been the webbing used to be attached to their other set of webbing and then the bottle used to be kind of lifted out of the webbing so this would still be in there um so yeah again thanks for watching guys have a good one and uh, yeah bye